For as long as anyone can remember, the students at Mount Washington High have arrived at the school the Monday before homecoming to find a list naming the prettiest and ugliest girls in each grade. This year is no different. Danielle DeMarco, also known as Dan the Man. Abby Weiner, bonus points awarded for overcoming family genetics. Candace Kincaid, beauty isn't just skin deep, by the way. Lauren Flynn, everyone's got the hots for the new girl. Sarah Singer, it's like she's trying to be as ugly as possible. Bridget Honeycutt, what a difference a summer can make. Jennifer Briggs, drum roll please, the only 4P in Mount Washington history. Congrats, Jennifer. Margot Gable, all hell this year's homecoming queen. For some, it means instant popularity, and for others, their social status crumbles. That's me, Jennifer Briggs, senior. Four-year champion of the ugliest girls in my class. Every principal we've had has tried to figure out who makes the list, but no one knows. Not even the girls on the list, although some have their own assumptions. Either way, the list can change your life. For better or for worse. Some of us gain in unforeseen circumstances. Others lose it without trying. Some of us do extreme things like not showering for a week just to prove a point, despite our friends' warnings. Or not eating for our perfect figure. We gain friends we hope we can trust. Or we lose the ones we thought we had. We can feel guilty for those who suffered for our gain, or we can try to hold on to those who don't defend us in our suffering. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, it doesn't matter. We're all the same. Sad little girls who are longing to be a part of something bigger until we make the list.